Hi, everybody. Roger and I are back on air live at the Utica Curling Club. Trying to throw a little nourishment and a little refreshment in our the apps so we can bring you the rest of the game this evening that we're going to carry. And that would be an A semifinal between Team Albany, which is uh, Skip Jim Margulis, Chip Helms, Tycho Spadero, and Dave Wat Watrous. Bucks County Curling Club, skipped by Dave Schmel, Vice Kevin Brady, Ian Sheffer is the second, and Burt Tyler is the lead. And we're just underway here in the first end. Welcoming you all back. This is the big moving draw tonight. We've got uh, two A semifinals. We have two B semifinals and two D quarterfinals. These should be really outstanding games. These are the last of the last standing gotcha. of this bond spiel. 39 teams in, and these are uh, really 12 of the best that are the other, out there this evening. Other A semifinal is uh, Team uh, Utica, skipped by Eric Crema, and Team Nutmeg, which is skipped by... Um, Mike Parker. Mike Parker, and we'll keep you yep. abreast of those scores as they uh, as they roll in. So I may be jumping up and down here during the game, switching over to sheet two to get a live look in at our other A semifinal. <clears throat> and of course, tomorrow we'll be back on air with the with the finals at uh, eleven thirty in the morning. We will be on a little bit before that with um, the C the C semis, and those are at eight thirty, I believe. Correct. Are we carrying those live as well, Roger? Yep, I'm going to try to be yeah. here. Okay. for that. So I probably will not join you until midway through the through the first game, the early games. But I will be here for the final with you, and I'm looking forward to that. I'm doing the same thing you're doing. I'm looking to see who has the hammer right now. <laughs> I think Red has hammer. It looks like it is. Yeah, this is... Uh... Tycho Spadero. Because of the uh, extra end, we had a uh, rolling start. <coughs> so the other sheets had gotten underway while... Waited for ice prep on sheet four, where our future game is. And the previous game was a crackling extra end game. Oh, God, what a great game. Great curling game. It's a shame somebody had to lose that game. It was that good a game. Now Ian Sheffer with his second rock of the first end. Nothing on the rings yet, it appears. Looks pretty bare to me. Looks kind of like the typical Utica Curling Club first in congestion. Yes, it does. <laughs> front of the rings. That it does. So Ian's rock, um, I don't know if it got a rock on the park or not. It looks like it may have got one on the park there. Yep. Just a little biter there. Tipped the red one in. Baby and Shrey, do we have cameras on sheet boots? <laughs> And this is Chad Helms with his first rock. I'm sorry, no, it's not. This is Tycho Spadero's second rock of the first end. And now blue. And uh, Bucks County have a rock counting, counting one.
I think. He's looking them over. That might be a premature assumption on my part there. Now Kevin Brady with his first rock at the first end. Looks like he's trying to make a little tap on his own rock here. Just draw weight, really. We'll do it. Could split them both on and sit one and two if he hits it right. And Kevin Brady now. A lot of weight here. <coughs> and it's actually going to stop in the back of the forefoot. I thought it was heavier than it was. Pass right. the T-line there. We're going to go for a quick look in on sheet two. This is the last rock on sheet two, Crumma versus Parker. Nope. Sorry, one more. Have there to go, go up. Have to go up two numbers. Yep, you got it. There we go. You got it. It's like Krama is hitting two with the chance to draw for three here in the first end. Yes, it does. Last rock. First end, Eric Krama. Needs the four foot. Looks like he's all over it. Line looks terrific if they're there. He's all over it. He stuck it. Beauty. And ring it up. One, two, three for Eric Crumma in the first end. Well, there's your live look in at the other A semifinal game taking place on sheet two. Now we're coming back over to the featured game here on sheet four with um, Kevin Brady's second stone. Trying to cover up shot rock here. Looks like he's got a good stone here for that shot. Very nicely thrown from Kevin. A beauty. He actually corner froze his own rock making it not possible to get to with this one, so he's gonna have to open it up is the skip. Jim Margulis. Margulis? Margulis. Margulis. Jim Margulis. If anybody's out there and they know the correct pronunciation, let us know. We'll call him Jim Margulis for now. Marvelous Margulis. Indeed. And of course, if we misspell or mis mispronounce any of these names, it would be no disrespect by any stretch of the imagination. That we are happy to be doing this feed, and I hope you're enjoying it out there. Just ticked it over. Just ticked an unfortunate miss there. And now Bucks is in, uh, in control of the end here. Big Dave Schmel trotting down the ice here with his first skip rock. And he's hitting two already. Can he squeeze this out turn draw in? I think so. It's tight, isn't it? It's tight, but wouldn't hurt him at all if he stops it where he can use it, you know, tap it up with his next one. Right. He's going to really force the hand of uh, He's already Jim got a Margulis. pretty nice rock on the back four. Yep. If he could squeeze one into the top four here, it would just be deadly. If this has got legs, it's going to get there. Yeah, it just a lot of curl yep. to squeeze through that hole with draw weight. And that'll add another guard to the pile. Yeah, just a little light, too. I think the line might have been okay if he had another broom to it. It's possible. They started it early. 
tight. Oh, you're absolutely right. Tight. Thing is, I'm not sure you can draw yeah, to that I'm spot, sure but I think you can tap it out. You can right. throw hack weight at it, I think. Sure. So it's one of those deals where Margulis can use that rock in the back and get rid of it, but uh, I'm not sure Schmel can draw another one on the top four. You might be able to throw hack weight here and get right to the nose. Yes, you might be able to. You're right. Big shot here from uh, Jim Margulis. His first skip rock of the first end in one of our A semifinal games. 2017 Dykes Tournament. He's got the hammer in the first end. Looking at hack weight there. Confidently thrown. I think he's got it. He's definitely making contact. And and shot rock. Shot rock. Well thrown. Shot rock by a hair, maybe. Let's take a look. Looks wide open, however. I think red shot. Try it again, Nate. Now Dave Schmel would like to chase that rock off. I don't think he's getting it with the out turn. No. He's going to have Nor to come, gonna come inside out, and that's uh, virgin territory for Curl. For sure. Going to have to guess how much ice here in the first end to throw at this. Yeah, I don't think you want to be down weight here. Go, go, go. Just nice control weight, I think, huh? Yeah, first end here, you don't really know what ice to throw, and if you don't, just put it on the edge of the rock and fire it. Takes the mystery out. Doesn't really have to stick. He's already sitting uh, second, second and third, third here, yeah. and he'll be first and second if he rolls out. So He didn't uh, go shy on the weight. No, he didn't. I don't know if he's getting by the guard. Just haired it, and it's going to roll. Four. Take himself out. He's going to sit three. Yes, indeed. Wow. That's going to force a Pressure draw. Pressure shot here, yeah. I Jim would be Margulis. tempted to come inside out on this draw. From the center? Absolutely. Oh, I agree. I think you're going to wreck agree. on the center guards coming this way. They're just too tough. much curl. Tough, tough. Big shot here early from Jim Margulis of the Albany Curling Club. The skip. Front end, uh, their hands in the air like it has plenty of weight. I think it's coming down, but he's on his guard, isn't he? He's just going to squeeze by. Oh, my. Now is it going to sit? It might. He threw a great he, rock. He's got backing. Well, He that's... threw a great rock. Oh, that's a beautiful All shot. All the confidence in the world. Very nicely thrown from Jim Marlowe. That was a tight squeeze by both guards, wow. as we said. Pressured shot. Looking at three there. He came up with his one to... Uh, to nope. bail the end out. No fear. Mm -mm. Threw that rock with absolute confidence. Got his one. Yep, yep, yep. Takes a one nothing lead after the first end of play. And Bucks County Dave Schmel will have the hammer here in the second end playing the Blue Rocks in our feature match. Boy, we've been blessed to see some really good curling games out of five year and under curlers here, Roger. It's some really good. Games. good. Really good, good curling. Yep. Dave Watkins, lead for Albany, looking to throw a center guard. Hi to my friends out there at Albany Curling Club. I curled there from 2002 to 2006. May curl there again someday. One can never tell. My lovely significant other, Pamela Turner, lives down in, in Rosendale. It's about an hour from the Albany Curling Club. 
trying to figure out how figure out how to curl in both places, kind of like our friend Dan Stolman. And Bert Tyler's first uh, first throw, skittered onto the rings. Looks like Jim Margulis will go after this after this rock. Not enough to get it off the rings. Dave Schmel will remove this rock. Attempt to remove it. Sit one and two. Burt Tyler, second stone, second end. Lead for Bucks Curling Club. Looks like he's got a good shot. Very nicely thrown. Great shot from Bert Tyler. Looks like we're in for an extended uh, exchange of hits in our game until somebody throws a half shot. This is the second, Tycho Spadero. <laughs> good shot there. Nice weight. Yep. Almost got a good roll there. Rolled a little closer to the center. Now Ian Sheffer stepping up for his first rock. I think Dave would like to hit and roll underneath this guard here or hit right on the nose. Just not jam it on the one on the back. <coughs> Which wouldn't be the end of the world, but looks like he's a ways out. Hit and roll under here would be very nice. It would mm -hmm. help set up a deuce. Not going to happen, though. This rock's outside. Not a lot of weight. Might come over the top of it. And yeah, does. Needs to get it over the top. That yeah, works, and it stays on the rings. Just fine. Yep, just Sits fine. Sits one and two. Yep. <laughs> Albany's going to come in now. I think I'd continue cracking these rocks until... Me too. I saw an opportunity to roll under. Or yep. maybe run a double. Little game move here early Taking from Jim a little, Margulis. Little, little chance, chance here yeah, early in the game. Second end. Yep. Those rocks are just biting the forefoot, so if you're confident in your team's draw weight, getting around that center guard. Tycho Spadero, second rock. He is the second of the Albany Curling Club in our featured game here. He's really tight on the guard. Looks like it might come out the other side if they let it come up. It's going to go out the back side. Oh, did not want to hit the guard. Nope. Sort of set corners up here for Bucks County now. Now Bucks County has a chance to set up a pretty big end. Hmm. He's going to peel the center. Sitting two. 
I'm not totally sure of this call, but I'll I'll go with it. Well, I think the logic here is you want to lock in a two. He's got his rocks pretty spread. Not likely going to give up a double. What about coming around it and stopping it in the top of the eight foot? Well, that's the other option is go ahead and sit top three, uh, top four, and then sit three. Sit three and then. Here he uh, could jam it. Yeah, then you're going to force Albany into a hit and roll. Gets the peel. That will definitely force Albany into a hit. Yep. They've got no guards in play, nothing to hide behind. Nope. So they're going to have to start chasing rocks down. And the good news is uh, Bucks County still got a corner guard. So they can hook one around that corner. They could ignore uh, wherever this rock lands, go around the corner. Yep. I'm not so sure that I would have. I, I didn't like that shot, but that's okay. I mean, I'm not playing this game. I, I think I would have came around and tried to sit one, two, and three. Or and come I, around this guard or come around the red one. Right. <clears throat> but Well, if you go around the guard, uh, what happens is they hit and roll off the top one and try to cut the rings down. Right. So you might be back in the same boat with the guard Correct. in place. So with less rocks. You can play yep. it either yeah. way. Sure. You're putting some pressure on. If they miss that shot, yep. then uh, you're in business, right? You're probably I'm on board with that. Yep. I get, up get the logic behind it. It's just so, not a shot that I would genuinely call, and maybe you either. Yeah, if you... If you thought your team was really, you're really confident about coming around, you might try to set up a three by coming around mm -hmm. the center. Now we're back to trading hits. Now you have to keep Bucks County away from that corner guard, so you gotta keep your uh, red stones in play here if you're Albany. Anytime you hit and roll out here, Bucks County is going around the corner. Not curling this needs enough. to curl up. I'll lose a shooter. And a little half shot. Yeah. Now Albany can get out of trouble. I think you got to hit the blue rock at All this day. point. Yep, I agree. Chip Helms, the vice for the Albany Curling Club, stepping into the hack. With his second stone of the end. Not sold on the freeze here without hammer. Nope, nor you're not, am I. You're not stealing the end back there on the back 12, and if you're not stealing the end, you might as well not leave any of those blue rocks in play. Absolutely. That just gives Bucks County a chance for a deuce. And of course, the hit's a lot easier to throw than a freeze. And this is gonna breeze by. Might chip no, it. They might chip it. They did curl just enough, and they okay, so the that's what you should have called anyway. So there you go. Yep. No harm, no foul. Nope. Second stone from uh, Kevin Brady, the vice of uh, Bucks yep. County. They got a corner up there. Yep. They go ahead and use it now. I think the, the only downside of hitting rolling out like that is now this is a free shot around the corner. Yep. If you're sitting back 12, might have had a chance about counting this rock coming around the corner. But here we go. Deuce in play. And if we get around... Plenty of weight. A ton of weight. Not going to bury. However, it will be shot rock. T-line weight. Yeah, and Albany will have to chase yeah. it. Yep. And he's freezing to it. Okay. Gutsy call. from Jim Margulis. A lot of young guys here from the Albany Curling Club. That club was um, 
getting to be a kind of a like our club in a sense, a, kind of a middle-aged yeah. club when I was there in the early 2000s. Good to see uh, some youth out there like that. Big shot here from Jim. Kind of make sure it's there because you don't want to give the other guy a draw for, you know, to set up a deuce again. And even if he makes a perfect freeze and out counts it, it's a great shot, right? It's going to be some separation here. If Dave, if I were Dave, I'd be ready to sweep this rock to get his own rock to get some separation between these two. Get that blue rock as far away from that red rock as you can. Give you some room to squirt it out. Sure. Over on sheet two in the other semifinal game, um, Nutmeg did score one in the second end to uh, cut the lead to three to one, and they're playing in the third end now with Utica ahead uh, three to one. With Hammer. And if we get a chance, we'll try to cut over for Skip Rocks. We're a little offset now on our two sheets mm -hmm. in terms of time. Dave Schmel looking to get rid of this red rock and probably flop over in front of his other one that he's got there. Looks like he's got a good shot here. Oh, it's going to jam. Just, but he's going to wind up shot rock, which is not the end of the world. I think you need to remove that. Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't even think for a minute about freezing that rock. <laughs> No way. Already, Especially not the way your red rock's up in front of theirs. Right. Like, as you're such. already shot. <coughs> Excuse me. Got to take that rock away. Hey, flirting with disaster here. You're leaving a lot of stone, a lot of blue stones in play. Yeah. Don't have to attempt to steal every end. You know, it's good to give. You can give up one and get the hammer back. Right. So a, a freeze attempt here from Jim Margulis with his uh, last stone of the second end. Looks like he's going to sit one and two here. But he's not going to get the blue rock off the rings. But the double is not there, so and it's he, actually not he, a bad outcome. And he's one and two, so yeah, it's not fine. a bad outcome at all. So it's fine, sitting yeah. one and two. So now Dave's forced us to nose hit one of these for his one. He's got to hit shot rock for his one. Not one of these, but shot rock. Or you could, or you could draw a tap and roll to the bottom. Could draw a tap. All, yeah. all depends on what your uh, preference of weight is, huh? Comfort zone is. Sure. comes to the nose of the one just thrown then uh, he'll be shot push it back <laughs> Hammerstone second end Dave Schmel skip of the Bucks Curling Club Looking to just get out of dodge with his one here. He needs a. He needs to be shot rock. And it looks like he might have left this out a little. Yeah, he's just throwing a little tap weight shot, but it. Uh... I don't know that it needs to be swept. Right to the and nose. a nice throw, from Dave to get his one. Very nicely thrown. So we got ourselves a tie game after two ends of play, one to one.
Well, we got our lead rocks in play. We'll give you a live look in over on sheet two. That's our other A semifinal between Eric Crumma and Michael Parker. Eric Crumma with a hammer here in the third end. Sitting one, I believe. Yep, but sitting one in the back. Might be sitting one and two. No. I didn't see the blue rock behind the red yeah, one. There's a blue one. Definitely got a blue back there. Four, three. We're, uh, we're being asked to skip over to sheet six. I don't think we can do that. Um, sorry about that. No cameras over there. Nope. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Sorry about that. Next season, we'll have uh, hopefully two through five. We're looking in live at uh, the other A semifinal game going on on sheet two right now. Sheet four is unfolding. The skips, uh, the leads have thrown both of their rocks. Doesn't look like anything's going to be on the rings just yet. Michael Parker trying an intern come around. Shot rock. Just going to nick the guard. And roll off. The weight looked really good on that... Uh, draw attempt. Yes, it did. Now, Eric Crumma with a chance to draw one in top eight, top four. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you want to stuff one here. I'm going to leave it out there where you can double you out. Top eight where you can uh, out count the one in the back. Sure, right in front of the shot rock, right? Oh, you bet. <sighs> Want to be one and two here if you're Eric. I thought I saw him whisper over to his front end that he wants to be top 12. I thought I heard him say that. And there's no reason not to sit one and two here if you can get it behind those guards. Yeah, if you can tuck it in behind the guards. That's uh, the top ideal eight, scenario. Top eight, top four would be ideal. Don't want to be deep. Front end seems to think that the weight is there. It's wide. Yeah, he left this one out. And no help there. Still left, a, left an opening for Michael Parker now to draw down for Shot Rock. No hammer here for Mike Parker. Utica sitting one. 
Ooh. We got a ring of blue rocks around the back of the house. Yes, there is. There are Crumma's red rock is shot rock in the back. He's got the line on this one. Mm, great shot. No and bounce. That'll nestle in for Shot Rock. Yeah. And Eric's got a draw for his one here. Oh, he can get two if he can push that back. You can get to the inside. He left some space. Bounce just a hair. Yep. Just got to throw the same draw Kinda to the like back. a heavy draw. Yeah, just back eight weight and mm -hmm. get to the inside of that blue rock. You'll score two. You don't push it back far enough. Still get your one. Someone's just asked for an update on sheet five. It looks like it's tied at two, and, and they're playing in the third end. And we're up to date. Yep. So a big shot here coming from Eric. Last rock here in the third end. So tap back to one, maybe two. Yeah, one stretches out a three-point lead. If he can get a deuce, it'll stretch it to a four. I think he'd be happy with one here. Make sure of the one. Looks like he might have left this one out a little bit too. Threw a lot more weight here. Definitely uh, out again wide. Can play for the tick. Play for the tick. Nope. And steal a one. Steal a one there. For not Meg. And we'll take you back to our future game. was the seventh rock of the end that was just thrown by Kevin Brady, the third for Bucks County. And it looks like they're sitting three or two. They got two on the rings, two. Looks like just two. 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 Okay, the one in the front's not on. Chip Helms here. Vice for the Albany Curling Club with his first rock at the end. No hammer for Albany here, throwing the red rocks. Hit and stick. Might have been looking for the double there and roll behind the corner. Mm -hmm. See what Dave Schmel is interested in doing here now. I think he'd like to hit. If I were him, I'd like to hit and roll to the right, roll away and sit one and two. Yeah, I think the hit and roll away is uh, definitely a good idea. Mm -hmm. He's got a stranglehold on the forefoot. He's behind quite a few rocks over there. Very hard to tap him out. Huh. And he's opting to guard here. Opting to guard. Okay, he doesn't have, I assumed he had the hammer. I'm sorry. He's opting to guard. I still don't know why he wouldn't hit this red rock even without hammer. I think you would hit it so they even they can't use it. I mean, right, that's, right. A, that's an out for them. If he right. throws a guard later in the end, it's still there. He can always hit and roll to the pin. Yep. And come off their own. No rule in curling that says you can't hit your own rocks. Right. So he just guarded up their rock. I'm not quite sure I'm totally fulfilled with the strategy of that one, but we'll see where it goes from here. I can't even see any of that rock. Nope. 
That's why you hit it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to try to tap it back. I don't know if you can get here. We'll see. Hard to get past both of those guards without wrecking. What are we throwing here? Oh, to tap well, a tap back on shot rock. They're throwing there. this wide in turn come around, wow. and what they're hoping to do is just tap that rock. Yeah, why not just draw bit. down to it? Chip Helms, second rock, third end. No line here. No line. However, it stayed on the rings. I almost think Dave Schmel's got to come soft around at that red one now. <laughs> was wide open the previous shot. Yeah, it was wide open before. <laughs> now he's almost got to come around soft at it and tap it back. But I think he's not. He's preoccupied with this side of the sheet. And what does this do for him, though? What does this do for him? Not sure what this I think does he's for trying him. to cover the shot that they just threw, but okay. I'm not sure that's even there. Lord, Lord, This shot rock of your own and give them a chance to. That just get makes it. the target a little bigger. Right, sure. And that shuts off that side. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I think you got to take this corner guard off if you want to score. Yep. -er. That guard is in the way of both of any draw. Interesting to, to see why he didn't go after that rock when it was wide open because it sure seemed like the right thing to do. drawing so Jim Margulis with his first rock with hammer here in the third end must sitting be, second rock. must be trying this uh-huh Now they doesn't look very good from the hack. <laughs> now they're looking at this shot. Doesn't look very good from here. That's the yeah, better of the two yeah. shots. But now even if you wreck on this blue, you open it up for your next one. Might have tried that earlier. Here it comes. Look at this. We're going to tap it out. Hello. What do we know? Wow. Nice shot. Beauty. And Margulis hits one. Maybe. It's close. Who shot there, red or blue? They're looking at it, and they're standing right over it. I think it's red. I think red's one. I think red is one. I, I do, too. I think you pushed it far enough. Now Dave's going to wish he ran that rock off earlier. You think? Yeah. Absolutely. That, that puppy's now shot rock. And coming around is a tough shot. It's there, and I mean, that blue guard is way up, too. The blue guard's six or seven feet outside the ring. So you, you come, come at soft it, there. If you come at it this way, 
You're just pushing it on to uh, right. the second shot. No, you got to get to the right. face. You got to try and get to the face of it. Yeah, so, I mean, the problem is that. <laughs> Come around the guard this way at this rock. It just goes back onto this one. What about, can you come through this port up the center and come this way and freeze on this one? It's really tight, so. Let's take a look. Coming up the middle is, is super tight. I don't think this is here. Oh, I do. Even if you just stop it on the top of the button in front of the one that's in back of the forefoot, it's a good shot, right? Just not sure you right. can squeeze through. You, yeah. got a, you got a skinny by that red and not wreck on that blue. I don't know. It's really tight. Well, we're not going to know because he's going after the... He's going. playing... He doesn't, li he doesn't like it, though. He's going yeah. back. He's I don't like it either. Yep. I it, don't like it It looks either. a lot uglier from the hat. It, yep. We have the it's benefit... has got to draw. Of, we have the benefit of having the camera above yes, high. Yes, we do. And it just doesn't look like it's there. Playing the fourth end on sheet two right now. Team Utica in a little bit of trouble over there. Still ahead by one. There's three blue uh, nutmeg rocks on the rings. No. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. He's firing through the pocket, trying to come right to the shot, rock, the rock in the back and sit. Oh, no, he wicky-whacked off the top one. And he made the guard a little bit better. Oh, no. So now the door is open for two. I don't see three there with his rock being stuffed behind these other ones. Yeah, it's basically just a draw for two, right? Yes. I think so. Yeah. So, door open here, Hammerstone for Jim Margulis in the third end. Sitting one right now. <laughs> At least we think he is. And he's got to draw for two here. He's going to attempt to draw for two. The straw weight's been phenomenal so far this game. And this one might go sideways on him. If they're by, it's money. I don't know if it's getting by the blue one. Not it's not. Quite, little not quite light, enough weight. Not quite yeah, enough it's light. Over curl. So, so it looks like one looks for like Albany. Looks like another single for Albany. They're going to take yeah. a close look. They both shook hands at... Oh, we are measuring. We are measuring. It is that close where we're measuring. For one. Not for two. While we're measuring, we'll take a live look in on sheet two in our other A semifinal game. And we can see that uh, Eric Crumma is in a little bit of trouble this end. Three blue rocks. Got a real narrow port that he's trying to come through here with his two rocks way up high, just four or five feet over the hog line. He's got to come through and hit and stick. So this is a real pressured shot in the fourth end here for Eric Crumma, the skip of Team Utica. With his first, first stone in the fourth end. Ahead right now, three to two, but there are uh, three nutmeg blue rocks on the rings. Thinking here, I think if he don't make this shot, you that at least clear things up a little sure. bit. He needs to get off the center guard, though. He'd like to run that red one off. You know, he's going to squirt it. Well, the that's old, one way of doing it. The old squirt shot. Yeah. For second rock. The second rock, and that helps a tremendous amount. And sure he's does. also behind the corner guard. Okay. 
Michael Parker is going to chase that stone. And Albany did get their one after the measure. So after three ends, Albany is ahead of Bucks County two to one. And it just made life a little easier for uh, Eric. Eric Crumma by opening, opening up, up the, the rings. rings. Yeah, <laughs> that was a little bit greedy, I think. I think so, too. You could have guarded that and had a real good chance of stealing the end. Yep. And trying a to hit that. A little overzealous there. Yep. Trying to hit that and sit four. You were going to open up the rings no matter what. Yep. So Eric's got pretty much an open draw to the eight-foot circle for his one. And we're still looking live here on sheet two. This will be the last rock of that end. This will be end number four. Red rocks being thrown by Team Utica. A big shot here. I'm not sure that the other rock on the outside is on the rings. I think it's two right now for Nutmeg. No, there's three. There's one in the uh, back 12 as well. One in the front 12 and one on the side. I'm not side. sure that one up on the top is counting. No, there's one uh, right up in the Oh, top. there's, okay, yeah. gotcha, okay. So against three, a draw against three here for Eric Crumma. The weight looks go. really good if he's by. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And safely in. And a nice shot there, a clutch shot from Eric Crumma to get his one, staring against three. Great shot to go ahead four to two after four ends is Team Utica. And yeah, we'll take you back to our feature sheet. Nice draw by Eric there. Nice draw there by Eric. A little ice water in the veins here. Well, Michael Parker will open the door by going after second rock, and I think that was strategically a mistake. Had a chance to steal the end, wound up uh, opening up the rings. All right, back to our feature sheet. The fourth end of our feature game. Bucks County playing the Blue Rocks has the hammer here in the fourth end. Ian Sheffer steps into the hack for his second shot. I'm sorry, his first shot. Not tight. Be okay if it hits the red one first. 
And it's, it's coming back. It was a uh, nice soft weight. And that works fine. Going to keep the shooter around. And, sit one uh, and two. Gets the red rock far enough off the rings. First off there by Jim Arglis was a freeze, but he changed it up, and I think this is a better call as they hit and roll. Get rid of a blue stone. Try to hide one behind that center guard. Tyco Spadero, second rock. Well, that flattened right out inside the four-foot line there. Yes, it did. I thought Almost it was going to continue to curl up. Might Tip. have jumped the gun a little bit with this sweep call there. Nonetheless, it winds up shot rock. Nicely thrown by Tycho. And now Ian Sheffer will throw his second rock at the end. Again, another soft weight takeout here. Down weight. Will curl down weight. Looks like he's gonna hit it right on the nose. Well, a little bit of a rollover, but got it off the rings and mission accomplished. Well, these are brave calls, these freezes in this kind of a game. It's a tight game. He's calling for a freeze. I'm not sure I'm sold on a freeze here. you got to keep the game in hand. I yeah, think yeah. Uh, you don't want to. You don't want to miss here and chunk one and give him a chance to get a big end, right? He's hitting. He changed his mind. Yeah, you still got the hit and roll available. Right. Be patient. If you hang it out here, you got the slash double. This is exactly like the split house scenario. Is the other team has got to make, you know, six, seven straight right. hits to maintain this split position. Exactly. In the worst case scenario is everybody makes their shots, you only give up two. Right. And you're still in the game. If you drop a three or four here, then it could you're be You're chasing. A, it could be a tough road <laughs> the rest of the game. You're definitely gonna be aggressive the rest of the game. So Chip Helms now with his first rock. Over curling. Gonna go to the back four. I'm not no, sure. Calling the draw or the hit there. I'm not sure. I think I would have kept swepting it, sweeping it if I was Dave to make sure that it was second rock. Well, it looks like it's shot rock right now. Yeah, exactly. Kind of gave up on it. But it's uh, it is wide open. And Kevin Brady now with his first rock of the fourth end for Bucks County. Got on it early, straightened it out, and it looks like a great shot. That's a great shot. And now it stayed on three. the rings. Outstanding. Good call there from Dave Schmel. He was on it early. In a bit of trouble now. Can try for a double here maybe and, and roll, but the most important part is just roll behind that center guard. Yeah, you gotta give this this uh, your shooter some shelter here. Or Bucks County, the, the odds are getting greater for Bucks County to have a big end here. Without a little magic here from Chip Helms. His second rock of the end. Rock's moving. And pretty much on the nose, a little flop to the center. And now Kevin Brady will attempt to get this shot rock off of the rings and allow 
Bucks County to sit three. <coughs> Excuse me. Once again, on it very early. Looks like a dandy to me. Trying to hit this on the nose. Don't want to jam it. Beautiful shot. A little Again, closer to the center yep, guard now, though. Yep. Swept early. On it early. Sweepers held it there. And uh, Bucks County sitting three with Hammer here in the fourth end. And we're on to skip rocks. Jim Marglis' first stone. It's hit and roll or bust here. Yes, it is. He's got to give this some shelter. Actually, if he hits and flops over in front of the blue ones, it's not horrible. Not the worst. Not the worst. Nose is not that great. No, nose is not good. Not as, nose is not that great. A hit and flop over in front of the blue ones changes the complexion of the end a little too. It makes it a little tougher to remove and keep the shooters. Right. Your, sure. your big end kind of goes away a little bit if he flops it over in front of the blue ones. Possibly. Because, of course, there's a chance for a jam if you try and play with it. Flop under the center here would be great. You might get lucky and get rid of two blue rocks, but that's not the main objective. Got to get this under the center guard. You want to go on it. Well, they swept it right to the nose. Yep. Got a little bit of a roll. A little overzealous, maybe. I think a little panic, a little panicky sweep call there. Now, personally, I want to hit and flop over in front of these blue ones. You're going to give them yep. a chance for a double, but, you know, it's really going to put a little pressure on uh, on Jim Margulis here if he can flop, get rid of the red one and flop over. Yeah, you roll over top eight, top 12 in front of these blues, and it's really tough. You may even force uh, Albany to try to come around that center guard. Right. So right now... If everything went away except those rocks in the back, you could freeze into that pocket. Correct. And take two of them out of play and completely. that gives you an option to get uh -oh. out of the end. I think Dave might have left this one out just a little bit. I don't think this is coming back. Unfortunate miss there for Dave. And Albany's going to sit one. And he doubles himself out the oh, back. Oh, my goodness. Now Albany can throw another one in and sit one and two and escape this end. This was looking really ugly for Albany. And now they've got a chance to skate free. Yeah, that was about a get out, get out of jail free card. That was. You got a couple options here. You can hit the blue rock and sit one and two. Yep. Or even just sit one. Cover up or, top of the forefoot. Or you just throw another one in. But, right. you know, if you throw a draw here, it's got to be in. Yep. Short draw does you nothing. That's going to drop your deuce again. Jim's draw weight has been uh, terrific, though, through the first three ends. Yes, so it has. I think he's very confident in throwing this draw. <coughs> rock underway here. His last rock. Front end has their hands up like they think it's like there's plenty of weight. Needs to be at least full 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to split these stones yeah. in, I think, and that'll work. It rolls for a corner, and that's actually pretty nice. Yep, one and two. Does the trick. Now, once again, Dave Schmel is uh, forced to. He's going to have to draw. Here. Can't, draw for his one. He can't hit. It's got to draw. It's going to be a draw against two. That turned out very well. Yes, it did. For Albany. However, it is a nice open draw path there. There's, there's right. a good four feet of space between those two rocks to draw. Just got to find your weight here. We're down to last two skip rocks over on sheet two in our other A semi game. Yeah. 
Last Rock, fourth end. Bucks County's Dave Schmel needs to draw full eight. Almost four foot here. Needs a rub. And he got and he it. He got it. It's a bit heavy, got the rub. Yep. So he sneaks out. Gets his one. Tight game. We're all tied 2-2. Two, two. Now it's time for a live look in on sheet two. Last rock. Eric Crumma. Looking to guard his uh, shot rock that's ever so slightly behind the tee line. Looks like Eric's hitting one and two, so he has the luxury of guarding this rock. A little hit on the eye. Is he hitting? All right. Hitting the just, blue one? No, I'm just throwing a guard, I think. Or it's a, a lot draw. of weight, though. A lot of weight. Freeze it right on there, guys. All right. Got some separation. Yep. Sitting left left one, a pocket. One, two, and three, right? Sitting one and two for sure. Is the double there for two for Eric Parker? That is the question. That's a very tough double, extremely thin. Yep. Just off nose, right? It's like Michael Parker will be forced or to Mike, hit. Or Michael Parker, sorry yeah. about that, Mike. He'll be uh, forced to hit or draw for one here, I think. Hammerstone, second end. The other ace semifinal between Nutmeg and Utica. Yeah, yeah. Mike Parker with his last rock. Yeah. Looks like he's got a nose hit on the one he's trying to hit. And he did. Nicely thrown there. Yeah, and that's for one. 4-3 Four. Four, Utica, right? 4-3 game after five ends of five play. Ends. Utica will have the uh, hammer. In the all important sixth end, we'd like e to score here. Yep, even sixth end. Yep. All right, we'll take you back to our feature game. Albany with the Red Rocks will have a hammer here in the fifth end and a 2-2 game. Very tight game. Skips have made a couple saves already. Uh, both, both skips. Yes, they have. A couple saves. We're getting requests to see sheet five. Unfortunately, we can't do that right now. Um, but Philly Humphrey is ahead after through four ends. Six to three over Plainfield and Jelly. Good shot there from Dave Wat Watrous. Looks like that's 5-1 over on sheet one, not 4-1. Yep. Broomstones ahead of playing field.
Tycho Spadaro now in the hack for Team Albany. Looks like he's trying to draw around here. 2-2 game, excellent game here, our feature game on sheet four. Bucks County Curling Club and Albany Curling Club. <laughs> Giving us a fair share of uh, entertainment here. Very well played. Some really great shot making by the skips, especially. Absolutely. Under high pressure situations. Yep. Kind of the basis of the whole five and under concepts gives some of these younger players a chance that they may not get to skip in their home club and their leagues necessarily, but they have a chance to uh, go and compete, play in the back end. Yeah, you can't put a price tag on these guys being able to yeah. play at this level, for sure. My only regrets about the Dykes is I only played in one year of it. Yeah, to get started to my second year, we went every year after that. Nice. And it was a really wonderful event make a lot of lifelong curling friends that you keep seeing on the circuit you True. Know, from time to time <laughs> and you've got build up a few grudge match friendly grudge matches sure i think almost every team that plays in this event has one or two teams that seems like you always meet and uh, you play a hard-fought game and uh there might be several pitchers of beer that disappear in the process after the game <laughs> is over. Can only hope. Tycho Spadaro, his second, second stone here in the fifth end. Nice solid looking delivery there from Tycho. Looking to come wide around that corner guard. May just get a raise on this, eh? Looks like it. Oh, curled on him. Got it on the rings. Sit one and two now. And it's going to force Dave Schmel to chase. He's in a tight, tight game here. He's going to come around. He's taking his chance here. Choice of call might be influenced by by his players. Mm -hmm. it's Kevin not Brady. A, not a player that hits well and might want to, or draws really well, might want to go for the draw instead of the hit. <coughs> the line's pretty nice, but it might be a little on the heavy side. Four, back eight. Shot rock. Shot rock, nonetheless. You know, I'm watching, um, you know, this gentleman play this, uh, this curling tournament and, um, you know, there's an instance of when there's a lot of rocks in play, I'm looking over at sheet two right now, that coming out and taking a look at the house this way is not a bad idea to get an idea yep. of where you'd like to hit rocks. You know what I mean? Yep. Turning like right around. now, there's a, there's a chance if he hits that top blue rock, half of it, that he's going to get both of those rocks off the rings. I mean, that one's in the second one's not on, but they're both going to go bye-bye. I think you get all three moving. You make it right, right. You hit... Uh, and he, he, that's what he's throwing. He, hit two-thirds of a rock, I think all three rocks start moving. This is a way out. Just overthrown. Don't yep. need to throw that much weight. 
And didn't change anything. Nope. I'll give you a live look in on sheet two again in a few moments. Kevin Brady's shot is wide, I believe, here. But it's coming now, though. It's really bending. Might be able to squirt it right out in between those rocks, and it did. And yeah, it does, right through the hole. Right through the hole. Good shot there from Kevin. Leaving uh, but Bucks wide sitting open. one wide open. And now Albany's chance to build up possibly a big end. They've got a lot of red rocks in play. Just off nose to get some sitting three, I believe. This being Chip Helms' first throw here. You'd love to nose I'm sorry, this. it's his second rock. Knows this or roll away just a little bit. I'd like to roll away a little bit. It'd be <laughs> perfect. Gonna roll the other way on this. Rolls it to the back four. It's buried, but it does leave a freeze opportunity for Bucks County. Dave's gonna come through the hole on this. I like it. That's the way I'd be coming. Wouldn't throw the freeze the other way, out nope. turn side? Nope, I'm coming this way and could get one of those off the rings too if you if you blunder. With the right way, you could just tick off it on this one. You know, you got an option over here of ticking off the red one and still skitter into the button if it hangs out and you have the right weight. Looks like he's actually not throwing a draw. I thought he'd be throwing a draw here. I'm sorry. He's like, with that broom, he's actually throwing kind of board kind of weight. However, it looks light for that. Got to get it by. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Up, up, up. Just going to rub. Yep. Didn't need the rub there. Didn't need to sweep at all. At all. None. I think you run that off. There's still going to be a freeze opportunity on the shots on the shot on the back four. If you come top four here first, maybe. What happens if you go top four here? Cut off both draw directions with hammer. Perfect. Yep. And then run that blue rock off with your last. Perfect. That's a chance for a big bundle here. Even if you uh, get around top four here and somehow Dave managed to sit third and fourth, you're still getting at least two. Right. Looks like he left this one out. He's Is he going the, after the blue rock? He's throwing the hit. Okay. It's going to leave a big pocket back there. Sure it is. That's, that's the downside. Yeah. You can hit that one of your Dave and roll over to the center. Right in front of the red one and maybe steal or the Or you head. just draw right on it. Just draw right on it. So this is a biggie here. Last rock for Dave Schmel in the fifth end. There's a lot of red rocks on the on the rings. Looks like he's trying to make a freeze down to this rock. To shot rock. 
And here's how the skips get the big bucks here. No play on words. This would be Don't a big save. Don't let it over curl. Don't let it over curl. Go. Go, go, go. He's on the guard. And that's just cutting. Oh, goodness gracious, Dave. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. And he spun another red one onto the rings. Oh, no. Oh, my. He did outcount the one he spun on. So this would be a draw for. for four. Uh, no, it would be a draw for five. Five. They're already sitting four. Oh, my. Oh, my. In turn draw. Don't get greedy. You don't need to split that one on. No. I think looking at the split. I like that draw there. That's a pretty known path. They're going to come wide side. Depends on what you know, I guess. Jim Margulis for five. Drawing for five. Looks like a ton of weight. And they might need to go for the split. No, it's checking up, actually, though. They could get the split here. Oh, my goodness. One, Got two, five. One, two, three, four, five. Count Good them up. Braces. That's a mitt full. Oh, my. Big, big end for... Team Albany and Jim Margulis taking advantage of a couple of miscues there from Bucks County to take a commanding seven to two lead after five. Just give us a give a live look in on sheet two. Eric Crumma with his first skip rock. They're looking at a loaded gun. Oops, I don't have a telestrator, sorry. Looking at a loaded gun. There's two red stones on the far right-hand side of our full house view are aimed straight at the shot stone. Narrow. Mm -mm. Just threw it tight. Mm. Good news for Eric, he's going to have a raise on the other side of the sheet, depending on where um, Mike leaves this stone. Yeah, there last there are two red stones. Mm. On the left-hand side, as we look at our house view, that could be raised <coughs> down to the shot stone. Eric did a good job to get to this point. There were... <coughs> Three or four blue stones in the center of the rings uh, blocking access to the entire house. And the clearing shot by his third moved everything out of the way except for the stone uh, that spun onto the forefoot. Mike Parker with his last rock in the sixth end. Trails Team Utica and Eric Kroma by one, but they are sitting one. Looking to get another rock in there, I believe was his call. He's trying to draw another one in. And that skids off the ring, so Eric will have a chance at his one here with a run back over on the left side of the sheet here, I believe. Unless he's got a, a draw path. Can't quite tell from this angle. Looks like he might have a draw path down through there. Yeah, there might be a tap back. 
Or he could just run one of the reds. Mm -hmm. I think the red run looks easier. Yeah, I think so too. And the beauty of this is even if you lose your shooter, you blank the end and carry and move on, which would right. be not that, a bad thing. That's just fine. Mainly just want to make the uh, blue rock go away any way you can. Huge crowd building up here in the warm room. Yes, there is. <laughs> Important shot here. Sixth end. And kind of went awry on Team Utica here early in this end, and they've been backpedaling since. But Eric still has a chance to get his one with a, with a raised takeout. Or a blank. Or a blank if he spills, if he gets them both. And, and spills wouldn't be the end of the world, certainly. And the one thing they need to remember, they do have a lead. So even if they give up a steal here, they're still tied with a hammer in the seven. Correct. Deuce in seven puts them in control. Even getting one in seven puts you in control. Right. Or it's getting your one now good position, gets you up yeah. two to be in control. So they don't they don't need don't need to make this shot. If they make it, it's a bonus. Eric Crumlin, here he comes, Hammerstone. Sixth end. Nope. Nope. Just wide. Just wide. Easy to be wide on that sheet with that turn. Yep. Sheet two. Got to watch that side. You almost take middle of the rock there with that kind of weight. And if you throw that up weight, you could even go uh, inside edge negative. Right. Absolutely. So that's a steal of one for Team Nutmeg after six. It's a tie score of four, and we'll move on to the seventh end. We'll stay with this game for the time being. Our other feature game, our ASMI over on sheet four, was kind of blown wide open in the um, in the fifth end by Team Albany. A couple of a couple of miscues there, unfortunate miscues by Team Bucks County. Opened up the door for Jim Margulis to draw for five, and he did. And uh, it's now seven to two. They're playing the sixth end. Kind of the same story as the early ends in the game is uh, one of the skips took a little risk with a come around and uh, in the first few ends, the uh, skips that uh, missed those shots uh, or the teams that missed those shots, the skips made the save, but uh, this time the risk didn't pay off. Albany wound up uh, getting a big five. Sometimes a big end like that, you know, especially late in a game like this, is a little bit of a deflation for your, you know, for your psyche and your team and stuff. I've had that happen to me numerous times over the years where you, you know, the last thing in the world you want to do is give up a big end in any right. part of a curling game. But at this stage of the game, it's a, it's a real, you know, uh, deflator, if you will. You know, late in the game, too. I mean, in the last half of the game, the fifth end. Yep.
Now Nutmeg is willing to trade hits here with uh, Eric Krama in a tie game. I think Eric could be happy to blank this end. Absolutely. Come home with a hammer in the eighth. That would be a real feather in their cap if they can keep their poise together here to just get through this end and you know, a blank and come home with a hammer would just be a big deal. Nice shot here from Corey Buckley. Roll that rock a little further to the wings. Now the plot thickens here. Now Michael Parker is not going for the steal here. He's got no guards in play. He's been chasing rocks since the beginning. It's gonna be hard to steal the end unless you get a gift. Yeah, you gotta be hoping, you're almost hoping for a miss at this yeah, point. you're hoping for misses and uh, yeah. playing a good team here. You're in the A semifinals. And a hit and roll out. So Eric Krama can decide where he wants to put this stone. Top four. Or you go the other or side. The wings, wings. You go out to the other side, make him uh, throw another spot on the ice. I think I stay away from the middle. Throw one in the side of the 12 here, and you can still keep the blank in order. Yeah, that's a good point. And if and you put maintain, one there and they miss it, then you're back in line for a right. deuce. Right? Maintain your option for a deuce. Yeah. And it's yeah. late in the end, so uh, if they miss it, I think you split the house and uh, see if you get a cheap deuce. Speaking of sweepers, I think Eric Crumma has a good oh, pair of sweepers a, on his front end as well. It. Yeah, we've seen some couple of tandems here. Corey Buckley and, and Justin Schmidt certainly are excellent um, sweepers. In an earlier game that we broadcast on sheet three here, Darius Romero and Brad Machado of the Albany Curling Club are also very gifted sweepers, without question, strong and, and smart. All right, so a different spot on the ice here. And roll that one out to the edge. I think Eric could be very happy to chase that, or is the fat behind T-line? Yep. Could draw to it to get his deuce. <laughs> and the pressure begins to mount. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel the pressure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. They make a good freeze here. These are all young guys, but I think the deuce in order. they took took a couple blood pressures right now. They'd have the EMTs here. <laughs> Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta get it there. Oh, don't know. Come on. It's going to be shot. I don't think so. Yeah, they got it into the eight foot. Did they? Yep. Okay. Oh. Trouble is, they didn't lock a good freeze on, so if they can hit and stay in the rings here, then Eric may get forced. Yeah. Is that going to jam? Yep. And it jams. Didn't get it off the rings. And there you go. Now's your bonus. Don't know who's and shot. Eric Doesn't it, matter. It looks like Eric is shot. Doesn't rock. matter because you want to hit this blue one on the schnoz and sit there anyway. Or you could freeze to it. Oh, he's got hammer. 
You could freeze to it. Got to make, got to make the freezer. You take the deuce away, right? Right. You got to make know? whatever shot you call. You got to make, make it. Right. He's freezing. Or he's. What are you doing? Yeah, he's freezing. I don't mind the freeze. I don't mind the hit. Either one, you got to make. That's yeah. the that's the only caveat here. If you hit and roll out, your blank is still in order. Sure. If it's got legs, it's going to be a great shot. Yeah, it's over curling already. I'm hoping they can tap it back. Well, they are holding it here. Look at this. Those sweepers are holding it. That's a great shot. And that's a terrific shot. That's a shot. beauty shot from Justin Schmidt. And that works just fine. So now they're, the house is split. <laughs> oh, boy. House is split with third rocks. There's where you want to split the house, late in the end. Yes. Tie game or up one or down one. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. There is a double here if you throw this perfect. Might have it. Might have it. It's going to roll close. They bunch the rocks. Wow. For second stone, I Good don't attempt. know. Good attempt. Maybe shot. Hit and roll in front. Great shot. Trading body blows here this end. Yes, they are. Justin Schmidt, no rest for the weary. Just made a beautiful shot and was got to make another one. Was negated by Lawrence Boucheri. Got this one out. Oh boy. Not curling. Gonna take himself out. Gonna breeze right by. Just set her out. Mm. I think Michael Parker now has got to split the house himself and sit one and two. That's not a good steel rock. No, because Eric can run them out, run the shooter off, right? Just right. run well, it off, run it off. It's on the 12 foot. He can outdraw that easily. So yeah. you're not stealing with that rock. So I think you need to put a second rock in anywhere. Anywhere that doesn't leave a double. got legs to get there I don't think so they're beating on it I don't know got it in the 12 foot just biting maybe yeah. it's not shot so that gives Eric a chance to run off the shot stone again Yeah, I mean, if he can run the back one off and flop over, he puts himself back in line for a deuce, right? Yep. Yep, right there, guys. Take your time. Take a breath. <laughs> Pressured shot here. They're uh, they're deliberating quite a while on this shot. 
I don't think it's much mystery here. There really He's isn't. It's pick just a, pick a turn, any turn. And he's he trying just... to talk himself into making it. <laughs> I think if you want your deuce, you got to run that stone off. I do you're too. going to be behind T line. You may get forced anyway. Exactly. The only other option would be to come around that center guard. And that's taking a pretty big risk. Got to think about what the other skip's going to do here. If he sits two back here, is Michael Parker going to chase those rocks, or is he coming around? I'm that's guessing a, he's chasing. Yeah, um, that's a good question. We may get a chance to see it. Because if you think he's chasing, then you definitely would hit these rocks. Here it comes. Line looks really good. Over curling. Oh, it's going to chip the blue one out. Sticking around. And lose no. the shooter. Now the question, who's shot rock? We can't see from this angle. Oh, red's definitely shot. Red's definitely yeah. one in the back, for sure. That's fully on the rings, and the other one's yeah. not fully on the rings. So now if he doesn't, if he takes the red rock out and doesn't stick, Eric will have the chance to blank this end. Yes. And come home tied with a hammer, and correct? Nose hit that top rock That's and right. you could blank the end. Yep. So Michael Parker needs to hit and stick. And he's tight, isn't he? Yes. No. And he's on it. Nose hit. Right on it. Oh, tough. He's going to force Eric here. Going to force Eric to, to take his one. Great shot. Got a hit and stick here. Indeed. Just threw it. It curled on him. <laughs> and our other A semifinal day, Schmel got a deuce in the sixth end to cut the lead to 7 4 with two to play. Eric Crum has now changed his decision. He's not going after the rock in the back. He's actually drawing for his one. A little bit of a, hey, you feel comfortable with that shot? That's fine, you gotta, gotta make it. What you don't wanna do is roll out here. I think the draw gives you a little bit of. Ch better chance to out count one of them if you're, you know right. what I mean? Right, if you keep your shooter around, if you come to the back one. Not light, I think that's more than you need. Gonna curl like crazy though. It's gonna gotta, curl like crazy. Gotta get by the top rock. Gonna be, it's curling like crazy. Gonna knock the blue one on the rings. It's gonna spin in. Yes, it is. And that'll yeah. be shot rock. Yes, it will. Safely done. Yeesh. Did that the hard way. Yikes. <laughs> he was heavy out <laughs> of his A little bit hand. of drama here. <laughs> he was heavy out of his hand. If I was oh sweeping, my. I would say needs a rub. <laughs> needs a rub. <laughs> So we have us a barn burner. After seven ends, Eric Crumma takes a five to four lead. Nutmeg will have the hammer coming home. Down one, playing the blue rocks. We'll stick with this game for the remaining end as they're ahead of our Original feature game on sheet four. We're about one end ahead. So we should be able to catch the last end. 
of the Schmel Margulis game. Now, my strategy, if I'm Eric Crumma, I just said to his dad, I said, they're going to throw a center guard, and then they're going to throw, I'm going right for the pot. Yeah, this uh, up, up one without hammer, you play for a soft steal. Yep. So you throw a center guard, come around. You're looking for a force, but if you get a chance for a cheap steal, Correct. you do it. Yep. Once you get one on the pot, then you start guarding this, the crap out of it. Right. I'd go right for, the, right for the top of the four here, but he's opting for another guard. Yep. Now you don't have to steal this in, and that's the one thing you gotta remember as a skip when you're up one without. And as a force is okay. And unfortunately, Michael Parker's uh, draw to the wings came up short, so it added to the uh, collection of guards. This one was wide. Don't know what happened there. It looked like that shot got a little wide. This is where if you know the tick shot is golden, to get that center guard off the middle. Yep. It's a shot more teams should practice. Agreed. This looks like a very heavy draw attempt. Kind of jiggle. And he got a little lucky on the redirect there. Yes, he did. And it's spun behind the red one also. Might like coming the other way here. Well, there's more room to bury from this side because of the offsets. Real light. Okay. Got his guards up. <laughs> He's trying to come through this port. Oh my goodness. Yeehaw. Well, that's tight. I think I like going for the slash double better. Got an out turn draw, too. No 
open things up a little. Could be dangerous guarding things up here with Hammer. Yeah, I mean, he's going to give him a chance to slash the, the tap this red one behind right. the whole mess here, right? The, the problem with guarding up the middle with Hammer like this is if red ever does Gets manage one to get one it, underneath, you'll screwed. never get it. You'll <laughs> exactly. never get it. So uh, you almost want to tap up one yeah, of these blues, absolutely. you know? I agree. Leave yourself some rocks you can run or use. Still room to blast through there. Slash double still there. Ah, it's not hurting you. The thing is, both teams actually need a draw path on this intern side. Don't nut it. Don't nut it. Nice shot. Gets rid of two and squirts uh, rock into the open. Oh, it didn't quite get rid of two. No. Nope. Got him in the open. Does change his options, though. It does. There's now a hit and roll off the outside one, I think. Can make, can get to the forefoot. I don't know if that guard is in the way. Well, I think they can certainly curl around it inside out. Still got a tap on this red one. So lots of options available for Eric Crumma without hammer. He's looking at two now. Two opposition stones. His team unable to stick a draw with their first couple of shots after they got their guards up. Once again, the guard attempt over curls, and now Eric can get to shot stone and roll for a shot behind some cover. Yeah, if he could roll one way or the other here. I think under the center is quite possible. Yep. Need to make sure you get the stone here. No, she's not off the guard. She's on the guard. In the front end maybe needs to take a deep breath. Just over through the stone, I think. They needed to throw yeah. a little bit less weight. Yep. The center one guarded up. Yep. Might have to throw it with his second one too, so it's probably a good idea to go ahead and try and get one behind these blue guards here. These blue uh, blue rocks. Shot rock and the guard. Got two options. Probably shouldn't be running any blues at this point. Mm -mm. Either throwing the end off this rock on the uh, just behind T line. Mm hmm. On the 12 foot. Yeah. Or are you going to play your uh, angle raise? The end off doesn't look like a bad option. For one thing, it runs our stone off, which is not a bad thing. Sure. Yes, it does. And if you get a little roll to the back eight, you're looking pretty good. The other options, you could also play the end off your own red, hit a half a rock and roll to the pin. Mm hmm. Angle, it'd be easier than the angle raise. 
Yes, it would. So we have a couple options here. Let's see yeah. if we can. Oh, I can't diagram on this thing. I don't have my telestrator up on this image. One option is the intern takeout on the rock on the side 12. Roll to the back four. The other option is to simply play a hit and roll off your own red. Need to hit about a half a rock, maybe even a skinny half. Roll to the eight foot long roll. Pressure mounting here, eighth end. Team Crumma. Another option is to freeze on that back stone. That's a, another option, which they're looking at. I'm not sure how you get there. Yeah. It looks tight from the guards. Maybe not. It does swing on this side, though. This is sheet two. A little straight outside in on that side, so coming the other way is a little curlier. There's a lot of ways of making this in off, too. You can make it straight, or you can chip off the blue one and skitter. Yep. You know what I mean? Or you can just have the right way and tick off it and come behind it. There's a bunch of little right. ways that you can make the end off. And say if you threw a board weight shot and you, you hit maybe a skinny half there, you'd probably roll to the back. Right. Probably roll top four or even back four behind all the garbage. <coughs> if you know the path to come off this stone in the back 12, I think the hit and roll off the one in the back 12 is might be your easiest option. Oh, you agree. And that, that's, and that's what, what he's, he's going to call it. Yeah. They went through all the options. They looked at the in-off. Yeah. They looked at the freeze. Pressure shot here. Even if he knows this for second shot, uh, Michael Parker will have to figure out how he's going to throw another one in for his deuce. Boy, I'm just not sure about coming this way. Just not sure about it. Well, you can't go the other way because that high high red guard. It's actually uh, actually in the way. Yeah, you know what? It, from my angle, I can't see that it's in the way. Yeah. If you look at our Looks camera, like look at our camera far enough away. shot, it's definitely in the yeah. way. So this is the only way to get at it. Yeah. This will curl up, so they should be able to control this with a broom. Got shot rock. And he rolled to the Got back shot eight rock. for shot rock, and that is a, a great shot. shot. Great shot. Pressure shot. Wow. Wow. And that is buried. That wow. is buried behind 160 pounds of granite. Wow. <laughs> So he's got to run his double here. He's almost got to run double raise, boom, boom. No, no. Yep, that's right. what he's got. He's got to run that onto a shot in the back. That's not easy. No, but the good news for him, if he makes it, he's going to be guarded up too. Right. He's got to cross over just a shade. And he's not playing a raise. He's playing a draw. Wow. Playing a draw. <coughs> Boy, I think you got to run your top stone. Oh, I do too. This is a gutsy move. This is trust. This is trust in your draw weight right here. Either that, or you're saving your. Wow. You're saving your run for your last stone. You're right. If you need fling it, if you this miss one your draw. In, fling this one in, and then if you uh, if you run that stone and and roll out of the back, you're sitting too. Michael Parker. Now they're playing the raise. Don't know. Don't know. Unbelievable. Got shot, but. Not sure that was a called shot, but it yep. had a way of working out. No, Kenny. There's, there's no deuce no, yet. No, Kenny. Don't open anything up. No. Play the extra end. Right.
Good God, you're going to open it up if you don't make this. Come off your red. All day. And play the in off. Play the in off your red. No. I don't want to talk about it. Jesus, he might push him in here if he hits this wrong. Angles aren't great. You could just have, you could make the shot for him. Right. He's probably guard. Playing, Michael's playing the tap up, so you could guard this. Guard the tap. Hope or if you can, if you want to get really eight. get really gutsy, I guess you could go for your in off. Yeah. The in off is uh, the in off gives you a chance to cut down the ring some more. True. Even if you don't make this in off. Michael Parker's gonna have a draw for the win. One side or the other. He just needs a uh, good chunk of the eight They're foot. guarding. I think Kenny just came down and gave him a little a little uh, influential coaching there, but Eric should inevitably throw what he wants to throw here. Just don't want to tap that blue rock anywhere near the four-foot circle. Right? Right. Juice is flowing, have a little bit of a uh, little momentum to your draw, to your guard, and tap him up and make him not throw his last rock would break his heart <coughs> and mine. Oh, he's looking at the double. <laughs> oh, no. 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 <laughs> I like the end-off. It's a pretty low-risk shot. The yeah. only thing I don't like about the end-off is it might open up a little more draw space for Michael oh, yeah. Parker. But if you, sure. if you roll under there anywhere, I think... He just don't want to be throwing any big weight at anything here, you know? A little in off, like with back of the house weight off of this red one is fine. You still could draw around. I mean, drawing around it and getting half behind the blue one is fine too, right? Well, the only thing you don't want to do is leave a duck out there for an easy hit for two. Right. <laughs> don't you love this game of curling yep. when you have this kind of options? There's too many options here. Too many. Well, Dave Schmel's rink uh, in our other A semifinal game did steal the sixth end to cut the margin to seven to five, but Albany has the hammer now up two, coming home. Trying to nurse their five point lead here to a win. We'll cut see, to that game after sheet two finishes. See what's, uh, can you hear me, Roger? Yep. I can't hear myself right now. I don't know what happened. Spending a long time on this shot. Yeah, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep, spending a lot, sometimes you spend a lot of time, you, you got more time to get nervous about it too, you know? Well, you just got to decide on an option and commit to it. Looks like he's throwing a little in off his own. And like you said, the danger of that shot would be that he, uh, that he might leave himself uh, exposed and give, uh, give Michael Parker a, uh, an easy one, an easy one yeah. to, to, for the game. Yeah, retired Skip, one of our uh, loyal viewers, agrees with our analysis. Wick, the wick yeah, in is I the agree. safest shot, and I think that's, that cuts down the rings and gives you a chance for... Just don't want to get anywhere near this Blue Rockies narrow here already. And it's running. You don't want to tap it. It's running. Don't want to. Oh my God! Wow! Go 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 go! Go 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 go! Well, it cut off a draw path, and maybe made the draw path a little trickier, I guess. So Michael Parker will now have a draw for two to win the game. He does lie shot after making a nice double raise. That followed an excellent hit and roll by Eric Crumma to go shot back eight.
Shots underway here for the win. Last Michael rock, Parker. eighth end. Michael Parker for an upmeg. It looks real good. No, he's on the red one. It's going to go through the rings. Going to go through. Extra end. Wow. <laughs> Extended play here in the Utica Curling Club in our other A semifinal game. Just a little heavy. He had a good, hit a great line. Just a broom too heavy. All right, well, while they get set up for their extra end, I think uh, it's time to uh, move over to sheet four just to watch the final rocks of our other A semifinal. Currently, Albany Margulis ahead of Bucks County Schmel, seven to five. They've been nursing that uh, five point lead. They gave up a deuce and then a steal in the seventh. And nothing doing yet here in the uh, eighth end. A lot of rocks short of the house. There's a pick pile on the uh, center line. And uh, this red rock is going to add another. So neither team able to find the forefoot in this end as the uh, teams have come off the ice. A few of the games have finished up. Ice has stiffened up a bit. Starting to stiffen up and getting a little slower. And... Uh, Folks are having a little bit of difficulty adjusting to changing ice. <laughs> so Bucks County needs to steal two this end to get to an extra. We got one coming. And this, this draw looks like it's a better attempt than the previous ones. It's going to go to the back four. Kevin Brady getting there for shot rock. Well, the first Very hog to the thrown. trough. <laughs> Albany will have to follow that one down. Albany has the luxury of giving up one here. They just can't give up two. If they can lock a stone on top of this blue one or just sit top four buried, they'll be in pretty good shape. Just took a little rub on the guard, but they haven't given up. They're bringing it closer. Now that rock lands in the top eight. That's a dead pigeon. Got him. Deal with this rock if you're Dave Schmel. That draw attempt just robbed. I think there's a double now. Yeah. Albany can run this blue rock back and double off two. <laughs> oh, 
Albany's Rich Ottinger trying to double off the Bucks County Stones. Hits that a little on the high side. Does get rid of the stone in the top 12. No, that was uh, that was Chip Helms. That oh, was, sorry. That's okay. Looking at the wrong, gotcha. yep. looking at the wrong Albany. Get that behind Chip Holmes. <laughs> Getting late. <laughs> <laughs> Got to cut my losses. Oh, here. the wheels are coming off, brother. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. Yep. <laughs> and this one will be short. Oh, boy. Typical, you know, where the ice will stiffen up when games start to end. And look at that pig pile in the middle. Man, oh man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Albany's Jim Margulis covered up the draw path. Now, now Dave Schmel has to draw the other side. Down to his last, uh, his last stone. He's got last be, bullet here. Got to be shot here and buried. Yep, got to be sitting one and two. He's down a deuce, right? Down a deuce. So if he can come around here and touch the red circle, he'll put the pressure on. I think uh, Jim's got last rock here. Yes, it is. We'll be going back to sheet two as soon as uh, this looks like this it's game it. ends. This looks like that's it's the end. It looks like it's the end for Bucks County that's here, unfortunately. Go. That is wide and not close enough. Game to set and match. What a great game, though. Congratulations to Albany's John Margulis. He is in the finals tomorrow. And we'll take you back to sheet two. Where we've got a very interesting uh, last in brewing. <coughs> Eric Crum has got two rocks buried on the, on the button area. And a ton of guards sitting up front. Michael Parker is looking to uh, peel away the front end here to give himself a look. Give himself a run for later in the end. Yep. 
There's an angle here maybe to squirt a rock onto the uh, pin. Nice shot. <coughs> Team Crum is still sitting one and two. Now he's got to give Shot Rock some shelter here. With Hammer, correct? With Hammer. Right there. Yep. Especially sitting one and two here. Yep. Great shot there from Lawrence Boschieri. Need to get this stone over. Don't want to leave a guard out on the corners. No help though. No help. No help. Couldn't be wide out there. No. Nope. Now hit and roll opportunity for Mike Parker. Caught in the run there. And who shot? Hard Good to question. say. Hard to say. Two rocks left. There are some options here. Hit and roll to the center is okay. Well, I don't think you need hit to roll, hit. Hit and roll away is okay. You don't need to hit this rock at all. Um, if you've got last rock, you can simply draw the forefoot right here. And then that rock you've got for your last shot. If you hit this rock, Michael Parker's coming around. What, the other way? Either way. But probably, yeah, out turn side. So that, that rock's not going anywhere. So what happens if you just throw the outturn draw to the top four? Now what? You got the last pill. No. You're right. You're right, absolutely right. Don't have to chase this rock behind T9 nope. right now. Get it by the top one though. Oh God, he's chipping himself out. Well, wasn't shot anyway. Yeah, I think you go around there. You don't even chase that rock. You can always get that rock with your last. You're absolutely right. Yep. You got to draw there. Yeah, you've got two to go, not one. Right, yep. <clears throat> well, Michael Parker still has to make a good shot here because he's not really in a great steel position. He's, he's back eight and... Out on the 12 foot. All right, so 
Now you can take that rock away. Hit and stick for your hit, game. Hit and stick for your game. They just played it. Yep. They know what the curl's like. Yep. Nose hit. Little roll inside. What's he doing? Is he drawing? Thinking about the draw. Thinking about the draw. It's out in the weeds is the only thing. Yeah, right. I'm not real enamored with the, the draw out there. I think my headphones are getting tired because they keep, I can't hear myself from time to time. <laughs> and I can hear you loud and clear, uh, but I can't hear myself at all. And then it'll come back. But maybe just the, uh, where's the connection to my phones? Well, you're there Check. and there. Yeah. And you're there. Okay. The one you're, what you're hearing is this. Okay. What, what, what? Oh, yeah. That's better. Now I can hear myself. Is that too loud for you? Nope. No? Okay. Well, <laughs> we're down to pressure cooker city here now. Yep. The more you think about these, probably the worst it is, you know? Whatever you're comfortable with here. Yeah, hit and stick. There's He's so much curl on this side. I don't know that you want to throw a lightweight tap back here. I think... Uh, you either make up your mind. You're either drawing you or you're hitting. Right. You, you know, control not, weight. You can throw control here. Yeah. You know. I throw bumper up here. Don't even think about that blue rock out there. That's not the one that's going to beat you. No. The one that's beating you is the one that shot rock, right? Right. So, Eric Crumma, we are down to the our extra end here in our other A semi. Last rock, extra end. Congratulations to Albany. Margulis is uh, going to the A final. He and his team. And they await the winner of this game. Last rock. Extra end. Eric Crum, pressure situation here. High pressure. Has to throw a, uh, looks like he's throwing a, a light, a light hit. Oh, he's throwing a draw. Straight draw. Yeah, better go, though. Got to go all day. Got to go. It's, it missed it. He might be able to raise missed the it. red. Missed it. Missed it. He stuck it. He stuck it. Went too far. Went too far. Michael Parker heads to the finals this year's 2017 Dyke Sponspiel. Eric Crumma comes up just a few inches too heavy. I think they had plenty of room by the guard. Yeah. Didn't need to be swept. <laughs> Exciting end to that game. So Nutmeg and Albany will meet in the finals tomorrow and we'll be here with you at 11.30 for that game. Thanks for having me, Roger. I'll be yep. here tomorrow to uh, broadcast the finals with you. Great. And uh, look forward to it. All right. Good well, night, folks. So long, everyone.